All right, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about um, making it so that we have some kind of number system that, well, some kind of display on our screen that keeps track of how many things that we have left to destroy and things like that. And we're going to be doing a lot of things to make this kind of occur. But one of the things that we need to do is we need to be able to display on the screen the number of units that we still have left to destroy. And we're going to start off by working on that. So we're going to go ahead and add a child node, and we want it to be a canvas layer. Now everything that we're going to add onto this canvas layer will actually will actually like move along with it and this canvas layer is what's going to allow for us to kind of control where things are placed. So we're going to add a child to this and this will make more sense as time goes on. Uh, we're going to add a label which is what we use to display different types of text and if I go ahead and write inside of here something like the, let's just say testing really quick, right? Like that. And if we go to fonts you'll see that we can't actually control the sizing or anything like that right now, which is kind of the problem, but we're not going to really work on that in this video. We want to go ahead and go to where it says layout. We can go ahead and hit the top left. And just like that, we, we have it set so that, the, that it is actually to the top left of the screen, which is good. And we want to view the helpers like so. And then if we go ahead and hit play, you'll see testing is now on the top left of the screen. Now, so we got it on the top left of the screen. Let's go ahead and set it up with a global script. But we're going to want to take the data from that and actually set things up correctly on here. We're going to do it all through a script on this label. And it's just going to be setting up the number of kills that we need and everything like that. So we can go ahead and just name it label.gg. That's fine. We're going to extend the label like so. And we're going to want it to be running off the global's data. So if we open up global, we can go ahead and see that it's actually got a goal score. And it has a score on there as well. So what we want to do to kind of start off with on here is we're going to go over to this label script. And we're going to go to function ready like this. And then we're going to want to be able to manipulate the text. Right? And we're going to search for help. We're going to look at the label to make sure that we got it right. And we see that there is a text string on here. We go over here, we see there's a setter and a getter. So we can obviously manipulate the, the text on here. So we're going to set this equivalent to, or something like that, right? And we're going to add on to that the global dot score. And you see that it actually cannot take that in because this is an integer. So in order to convert an integer over to a string, all you have to do is use the str function like so, which is another one of those built-in Godot functions, and now convert it to a string. And just like that, number of enemies left, 20 is at the top of our screen. Now there's a new problem occurring at this point where it's not updating when the enemies are being killed. and Really, that's a problem that we've uh, built up because we didn't actually make it so that the game knows when enemies are being killed. For now, we're going to leave that right now. We're not going to make it so that it's updating. We're going to do that inside the next video. In this video, I really want to make it so that we get the text to about the right level of what we want. Uh, so one of the things that we want to do is actually create more of a margin. So let's say we do something like 10 and 10, right? So you should see it 10 and 10 away from the anchor now, which is about a little bit better, but not quite good enough. So let's actually make it something like 20 and make it something like uh, 50 down, right? Like so. And that should look a lot better on the side of our screen right there. Eh, it's a little bit too much to the left now, so let's go ahead and just do 20, 20 which should make it look a little bit better. Yes, that does look a little bit better. Now the pro next problem is that we don't have a good enough font size in here. So you want to Google, Google fonts. You just take any font from out here. Roboto is good enough. Ooh, this is actually pretty cool. Let's do that one instead. We want to download it. Okay, so you click the plus button next to the font that you want. I'm going to use this one right here. And then we just simply open up this little thing at the bottom. We hit this little download button over here at the bottom. Open it up. You want this little TTF file inside of there, copy it over. Then you can simply drag it over to your RES folder inside of your game, and you'll get it so it looks like this on here. You want to go on to your label, you want to go down to where it says font, custom fonts right there. You're going to make a new dynamic font. Now, this dynamic font has all sorts of information inside of it. 
if we click on it, you can go down to the font on it and you're going to see font data. You can go ahead and load your new font on there. You'll see that the font changes on there. And some of the good things that you can do with this new font is you can actually up the size and you can use a filter to kind of filter out the uh, make some anti-aliasing happen. Or you can keep it off to make it more pixelated looking. And then, there we go, number of enemies left is actually quite large on the screen. And, well, we're looking a lot better here. So I think that that's all I wanted to do for this video right here. We've gotten to the point now where, well, we've gotten to the point now where we have the text on the screen. All we have to do now is make an update. But to do that, we're going to need to make some custom signals inside the game. So we will do that into the next video, guys. Like, subscribe, comment. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.